Today's big match here in Group B in Nice is between Sweden and France. Sweden have won both their matches and with a win today they take maximum points to the main round. Whereas France need a win to take any points with them to Belgrade. After winning their first two matches it seemed that Sweden weren't as ready for the battle as the French who were desperate for the points. True, Sweden scored the first two goals but France answered with three goals in a row and the teams were equal midway through the first half, both on five goals. But then France made a great run of five goals and led at half-time 13-8, which didn't make the Swedish supporters very happy. Absolutely not. What's going wrong? I don't know. Focus. I don't... They are too uh, slow. They have to speed it up. Do you think maybe the French girls are more hungry? The French girls? Yeah, they are a bit, a little bit bigger than us, so we have to uh, be a bit rough. Yeah. So, is this the first time that you travel with the Swedish team to support them? Uh, for me, it is, but I think. And also for me, yes. We came down uh, today, so. Sitting in the stands were also the parents of veteran Swedish player Kristina Flugman. <laughs> of course, I know who your favorite player is. <laughs> you know that, huh? Number three, perhaps. <laughs> Maybe. So she's your daughter. Uh, are you very proud being uh, able to follow her around? Yes, very proud. I have many years now. That's a tall, uh, 12th uh, championship we all want. And you followed her all around? Yes. Uh, not uh, in the uh, Olympics game in China. Mm -hmm. It would be for a um, shorter time, you know. Mm -hmm. Yes. So. Uh, this is nothing new for you to, to be here supporting her? No, no. It's, I, uh, it's like uh, every day. <laughs> yeah. And so this is a family tradition for you. Do you plan your family holidays around the Swedish team? Yes, and uh, my work, work mm -hmm. this day at uh, December, two life is gone. <laughs> yes. And worse was to follow for the Swedish team and better for the French, as France piled on the goals and led by 10 goals 13 minutes from the end, before easing off in the final minutes and winning by 7 goals 24-17, thus taking two points into the main round along with Sweden and Denmark. It was really important because uh, without this win we we uh, didn't we, ca we can't go in semi final so now we we come back in the game in the game for the second uh, uh, round and uh, now uh, uh, we are the three team at the same point, maybe if uh, Denmark win. So so now uh, we can expect to to go in semi final. Uh, so we are happy tonight and uh, uh, yeah, we are happy. <laughs> of course, you went to the semi finals at the last Euro. You want to do it again now? Yeah, <laughs> really, because it was. I think it was Swedish. <laughs> they went so. So uh, now uh, we we want to for, forget uh, yeah forget to be uh, forget uh, the the last uh, in the Olympic because uh, we didn't go in semi final so now uh, we really want to to <laughs> we, we really really want to go in semi final yeah great game for you today uh, you did study the Swedish very well and also your teammate yeah 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 I, I really study a lot. Uh, so I'm really happy because for me it was a long time and I, I, I didn't make a good game like this. So it's good for the self-confidence and uh, I'm really happy. I'm sad for my, my teammate in Viborg, but, uh, but I'm, I, I'm really glad for, for my team, uh, my teammate of friends. <laughs> uh, your name, Cleopatra, is that from the Queen Cleopatra? Uh, maybe, maybe a little. It's my, my parents, you know, uh, they love the name like this. I have a lot of brother and sister and uh, they are also a strong name. Uh, yeah, strange, sorry. <laughs> name. You know that Cleopatra was considered a very beautiful queen. Yeah. Uh, you have been, <laughs> I saw somewhere, you have been elected the most uh, beautiful uh, in the French League. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's good. If uh, maybe I can make some photo uh, for me, it's okay. <laughs> Thank you. I think we, uh, we stand pretty good in defense, but uh, sometimes uh, 
they are pushing us uh, very low and we are not have the, do not have the power to uh, stand up for them. Uh, they are very physical and uh, heavy players and uh, it was tough today and uh, in the offense we, we shoot uh, really bad. I think we had uh, we missed uh, three or three penalties and uh, and also from uh, from 90 meters, it wasn't that power in the shoot today. But we have a lot of work on. We are, we are a new team, new coach, and uh, we are still uh, really, really happy to have uh, two points in the middle round. The beginning of the tournament has been very good for you. After two bad tournaments, the Olympics and the World Championships, are you on the track uh, again? Yeah, I think so. We have, a, like I said, a new coach and uh, some new young players uh, who brings a lot of new energy like, like we needed. And uh, still we have a good, uh, good power in the team, but uh, like a team like France, you can't, you can't shoot so bad. That's, that's hard. Then they do a lot of contra-attacks on us and uh, the goalkeeper was very good today also. So congratulations to them. I saw your parents in the stand. Uh, <laughs> do you feel... Uh, is it good for you to feel the support from your parents who travel all around with you? Yes, of course. They also have a lot of great memories from all the trips they made during the, 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 the championships. And they're happy to be here to support me and I'm very happy to have them here. And so, yeah, now they also know it's the last, last tournament for me. So they also wanted to come this year. So this is the Flohnmann family business. <laughs> I don't know if you can call it like that, but uh, they love to come and watch us play and uh, I'm very happy that they do.